Today on Strange Anime License Friday, I wish I could be bringing you the Famicom version of Shonen Jump's Magical Tararu Toku, or the Super Famicom version of same, or the Mega Drive version, or even the Game Gear version. I've taken glances at each of those, and they each look, you know, decent. Decent as a Shonen Jump game gets, really. Sound cute little action platformers. But Felicity in Worcestershire didn't send us those versions, she sent us the Game Boy version, which... Well, if those other versions were Super Mario 3, Super Mario World, and the like, this Game Boy version would be Super Mario Land. Not Mario Land 2, where they made it work and it was awesome, but straight up, your gods think of the collision detection, why are the sprites these sizes Mario Land? Don't worry, Derek, I've got your back. Unlike every other Taruto kun title, where you play as the magical sprite Taruto and get to use various interesting tricks, in this version you play as the regular, put-upon-every-kid Honmaru. Because playing as the regular kid is always much more interesting in terms of a video game, let me tell you. The concept is your usual side-scrolling action platforming, with mechanics and jumps and timing that kind of reinforce just how much games in the early 1990s hated you. Fortunately, by collecting either a star icon or 20 takoyaki, at least that's what I believe those spherical-looking objects to be, is gleaned from the few bits of information on the series what I've been able to find, Taruto kun himself can be summoned to your side, where he, uh, he doesn't do anything until you ask him to help out. But when you entreat his aid, he can stop time for you to clear out the most bastardly of jumps, or bequeath upon you a bow and arrow for a short period of time, all the better for laying into this boss the 30-some hits she takes before finally giving up the ghost. And then you're in a helicopter shooting at Godzilla or some Godzilla analog. Cause that makes sense. And then since you've already got the helicopter, we're into a side-scrolling shmup portion of the game that suffers horribly due to the Game Boy's lack of real precision controls, as well as the aforementioned tiny sprites. Seriously, some of these targets are actually smaller than the minimum distance you can move. And the fact is, birds are jerks and they hate you. Almost as much as old video games. This is one of those games so vicious, with one sprite width landing areas and obligatory hidden areas with absolutely no indication whatsoever, you can pull out to scare your children years down the road into walking the trash, taking out the dishwasher, and emptying the dog without argument. Fortunately, since collecting 20th Takayaki while Taruto Tokun is already summoned results in an extra life, you can stockpile chances fairly easily by finding helpful co-stars eager to share their carbs with you, or Takayaki-filled bonus rooms that feel way too much like Mario Land, featuring the kanji for Hon and Maru. What they did there, I see it. Now get upstairs and do your homework before I have to show you any more of this game with the original Game Boy beige and spinach colors. Thank you. 